Hi, I'm Richard Oliver with uh, Farpoint Distribution and Materials. We're a uh, Fox Box distributor. We've been uh, a distributor since 1994 of ICF. Uh, we also do a lot of uh, training. We're in uh, Central California, based in Visalia. We've probably done well over 100 projects since uh, 1994. We offer uh, turnkey to uh, training uh, your people if uh, if you would like to purchase the materials, and we also have the bracing and scaffolding for rent. Hey, it's Randy with Fox Blocks, and we're in Kingsburg, California. It's in the Great Central Valley, uh, a lot of farming communities, and, and uh, we do have a plant in Bakersfield, so nice, nice, easy for us to ship uh, product. This job is uh, distributed by Far Points ICF Distributing, and, and ICF West is the uh, ICF contractor on it, and these guys have done hundred plus projects so so it's uh, it's pretty remarkable some of the stuff they're able to do uh, one of the things that they've found is uh, they've quit foaming the bottom uh, of the first couple of courses because they they trust the uh, the corners and the rigidity of the block so much so if if you pan down here you'll see uh, there's no foam because the webs are full height within the block and the clips are tensioning everything together rigid, um, they found that uh, they don't get movement, so the bracing takes care of it. And these walls, if you sight them, they are, they are flat, they are straight, they are plumb, and, uh, and away they go. We believe the Fox Box corners are the best corners there are. They're, they're bigger, they're rigid, they're strong. The webs touch each other. Just paying a little bit of attention, HV clipping them together that the corners are nice and straight. Uh, we always work from corner to corner now, and uh, it's easy to straighten everything up in between. So we're really pleased. We think it saves us time and money by using uh, the Fox Box corners. This uh, west facing wall is an eight inch ID block. This wall is a six inch ID block. We had to make our own T's in here to make this work. Then if you look over here, we went back again from a six inch into an eight inch 45. And uh, then if you look overhead, there's a couple of beams that were involved in this also that are both eight inch beams. There's uh, another 16 foot parapet that's gonna go on top of this uh, beam later on. Well, something I haven't seen before, which is kind of a neat design detail on, on this project. Well, this got pressure treated as a buck material attached to the concrete in the core. And then the framer came in and, and uh, set this framing in, inside to the inside face of the wall. And come here, come take a look at this. Framed back in a bevel from the exterior face of the wall to where this, uh, this window is going to be set. And this will get wrapped in stucco on a bevel, and it's going to create a, a really neat feature on this house, particularly if you pan up above and it's got a, uh, an arched uh, uh, radius bevel up there, and that's, gonna, that's just going to create quite a remarkable effect.